Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about AQL queries. How to perform search using AQL query language. AQL query language is a structured query language used to connect to Arial database. Arial database stores events and flow data. Use AQL to extract filter and perform actions on event and flow data that you extract from the aerial database in IBM QRadar. You can use AQL for advanced searches to get the data that might not be easily accessible from the user interface. This query language provides extended functionality to the search and filtering capabilities in QRadar. Let me share my screen We are seeing the log activity where the real-time events are rolling. In previous sessions, we discussed about how to create a search. Let us explore few more ways to search the events and flows. One quick way to search event and flows is via quick filter. This resembles our Google search. Here, under advanced search option, we have quick filter. We can add any string to search in the events and let's say uh, search the events for last five minutes. As this search loads, it retrieves all the events which contains the username M Hall. As you can see, it is as easy as doing a normal Google search. Let us click log activity and filter on the information messages. Another way to search the event and flow data is through search and edit search option. There, you can frame your own search or can use or refer the available saved searches to frame your own queries. Now, let us discuss more about AQL. If we look at the syntax of the AQL queries, it starts with the select. After that, we can add column names. We can add a single column name or can add multiple column names. Instead of column name, we can use wild character as well. We can make a use of functions and from where we are supposed to fetch the results, either from events or from flows. Along with that, we can use various clauses like where condition, group by, having, order by. And once we frame our query, we will get the result. On a user interface, under advanced search field, we can add our queries. As you can see, the moment I started typing the characters, there are few options popped up. These are nothing but the help options, the help menus, which can be used for framing our query. Hence, it is not required to remember all the attributes which needs to be used while creating search. There are four categories which can be used while framing our AQL query. A database, it's the name of the aerial database or table that you can query. It can be either events or flows. We have keyword, typically core SQL clauses like select, or, null, not, etc. Then we have field, indicating basic information that you can query from the database. And then we have some functions. Additionally, you can copy paste your query in the advanced search field. Now, let us write a simple SQL query to fetch the events. So how we can frame this query? Select star from events. The moment we click on the search, we will get all the event data from the database called events. What if I want to make this 
search more specific i want source ip destination ip and username from the events the existing query can be modified as select source ip as src ip i want the source ip to be presented with the column name src ip destination ip as dst ip and username as user once this search is loaded we will get three columns src ip destination ip that is dst ip and user what if i want to limit this search let's say for uh, 15 rows so we have a limit clause let us modify our query now again adding limit 15 as you see as soon we load this search we observed that only 15 rows are displayed as a result. We can filter our queries by using WHERE clause. The WHERE clause describes the filter criteria that we can apply to the query and filter the resulting view to accept only those events and flows that meet this specified condition. For an example, uh, we can use LIKE clause to retrieve partial string matches in the aerial database we can use while characters like percentage uh, dash now if i want to get the usernames which contain the characters like sp in my events so how we can frame this as select source ip destination ip username from events where username like percentage sp percentage percentage is a wild character which we are going to use to do a partial string match now again i want to do a search for only last two hours so is there any clause which i can use yes definitely we have last clause which we can very well use for this kind of requirement the moment we search for last two hours, we can see a time frame in this example, 7.28 p.m. to 9.28 p.m., which is two hours window, and we have the search results for this specific time frame. Now, let's talk about group by. We can use the group by clause to aggregate the data by one or more columns. To provide meaningful results of the aggregation, Usually, data aggregation is combined with aggregate functions on remaining columns. Let's take an example and understand how the search results look like. Let's say I want to get the search results grouped by source IP and destination IP. We can write the search as select source IP, destination IP, username from events where username, you can give a username as you need, group by source IP and destination IP. The results will show us the events data grouped by source IP and destination IP. There is another clause, which is having clause. We can use the having clause to apply more filters to specific data by applying filters to the results after the group by clause we need to remember the having clause follows the group by clause let us see an example of how to frame a query using having clause let's say i want the event data which is grouped by source ip having magnitude more than five if we click on any such uh, event and see the event information, we get the magnitude, which is nine and more than five. Now, what if I want to count the number of rows that satisfy the where clause from the existing query? Yes, we have a count function. Count function returns the number of rows that satisfy the WHERE clause of a selected statement. Now let us see more 
about how to use logical and comparison operators in aql query language operators are used in aql statements to determine any equality or difference between the values by using operators in the where clause of aql statement the results are filtered by those results that match the condition in the where clause like we can use the star to multiply two values and returns the result or equal to operator to compare two values and return true if they are equal we can use not equal to which compares two values and returns true if they are unequal so let us take a simple example so the query will look like select star from events where source ip equal to destination ip and the results will show where we have source ip equal to destination ip similarly if you want events which contains different source ip and destination ip we can use not equal to operator to compare these two values and as we can see the moment this query results are loaded the data shows different source ip and destination ip in next section we will discuss more about how data calculation and formatting functions work in aql query language we will discuss more about data retrieval functions how to define the time settings that are passed to the aql queries we will try to write the aql sub queries we will see how to refer the available saved searches and we will see how to frame a query which might help us in our day-to-day -day monitoring